I'm Kylie from Texas, and you're watching College Volleyball Weekly. I'm Kelly from Stanford Beach Volleyball, and you're watching or listening to College Volleyball Weekly Beach Top 20. I'm Allie from Florida State, and you're watching College Volleyball Weekly Beach Top 20. This is Jamie Whitmarsh from UCLA, and you're on College Volleyball Weekly. Go Berlin! All right, good day, everyone. College Volleyball Weekly Beach Top 20. We got rid of the other panelists and said it's an all Whitmarsh takeover. <laughs> uh, you got Kendall Whitmarsh of Arizona State and Jane Whitmarsh, a familiar face, friend of the show from UCLA Beach. Uh, ladies, thank you for joining me in this family affair episode. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Well, it was an exciting weekend. All the conference championships finished, which meant all the auto berths were uh, awarded from the tournament champions and then the uh the eight at larges were doled out and there were <clears throat> i don't think there are really many surprises but we'll go over that really quickly here obviously usc got the number one seed they'll face the winner of uh, north florida and university of tennessee chattanooga which is amazing because north florida unf upset stets in the asun conference and that has been a stronghold for Stetson for the last few years. So that's a, a major uh, win for that program. LMU comes in. It's the number eight seed facing number nine, Hawaii. I was personally there for Hawaii's punching of the ticket. Exciting. Cal Poly at the five. Arizona State at the 12. Uh, they'll be facing off against each other. Florida State at four. Washington at 13. Uh, four, Georgia State at 14 facing Stanford at the three. LSU at the eleven. Facing number six, TCU. Number 10, Long Beach State, facing off against number seven, Cal. And at number 15, Texas AM Corpus Christi, facing off against number two, UCLA. But the whole reason why I wanted to have this Whitmarsh takeover is because three programs are in the NCAA tournament for the first time ever. That would be University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, Washington of the Pac 12. And Arizona State, which is why Kendall Whitmarsh is on here. And why not have Kendall on with sister UCLA's Jaden Whitmarsh, who's been in every single year she's been playing at UCLA. So <laughs> I wanted to ask you first, Kendall, what was it like watching the selection show with your teammates, uh, especially with first year coach Kristen Rohr at the helm now, coming over from Grand Canyon? Well, that's a great question. It was... The best way I can describe it is just like a core memory, you know, I mean, it was so early in the morning and everybody just walked in just so alive and so excited. And, you know, we didn't have a for sure spot. That's what made us so um, like eager to watch and everything. And I just think that um, as soon, I mean, there's a video of it, but as soon as our name was on the board, we all just jumped to our feet. And I mean, we are making history by the day and being in this tournament was just so huge and just really feels like everything is, um, you know, paying off all of our hard work. Now, Jaden, I know you're watching the uh, selection show as well with your teammates, but how did it feel like, and how was your reaction to Candle when you heard about Arizona state? Um, well, obviously I was really excited. I was telling some of my teammates like before the, the show, I was nervous, to watch to see ASU's name up on the board. Um, I was just telling them, I was like, I'm feeling my sister's nervous energy. Um, but honestly, we were all very, very excited for ASU and the other teams that get to experience this for the first time um, because it shows the growth of the sport and also just having other people experience this kind of tournament is just incredible. And I'm really excited for it. Yeah. Well, Kendall, you got to see your program all year upset more than a handful of top 20 teams. I mean, you beat Stanford when they're number two in the nation, three, two. In that same week, you beat on cross state rival Arizona and you got some other big wins in there. But what has been the um, atmosphere of your locker room or, you know, is it Sand Devil Beach in that area? Uh, yeah. So honestly, like the perfect kind of example of this is when we did upset Stanford that it was um, I think the match started around 7 p.m. And then we had weather delays 
uh, there was lightning. And so all the matches had started and everyone just was in a great mood. The energy was great. And then obviously stopped because of the weather. So we all took cover um, inside of our facilities. And during that time, it was 30 minutes that we had to wait and just like the energy and my for my team was just unmatched. Everyone was up and dancing. We were playing music and um, it was kind of just like a letting loose. And so I just feel like that really helped. We went out and played them like we had nothing to lose. We we're playing the number three seed, you know, and we just played fearless and it really paid off. And it was just such a magical night for sure. Well, one of the key matches I really feel like gave you guys a nod in was the upset of Cal in the mm -hmm. uh, tournament. 3-2. And I, I was at the Big West tournament and the news was buzzing where <laughs> I was at. Oh my gosh, Arizona State beat Cal. And I know that was a big matchup, but um, can you describe for us what was going on out there? Wow. Um, that was just, again, something that I will never forget. Um, especially the dual clincher um, with my teammates, um, Ava Krunchnik and Kate Fitzgerald, um, they just played like lights out. And that's what made it so exciting is because obviously we're the underdog and, and actually this match or yeah, this pair is a new matchup. So everyone didn't really know what to expect. And um, we fully believed in each other. And I feel like that's just what got us that win. Um, and yeah, just everybody's support overall throughout the entire team, throughout all the duels of the weekend, but especially in the Cal match, it was just crazy. I mean, you see the photos, like everyone's tearing up. I'm like, I lost my voice from this whole <laughs> tournament, as you can tell. But um, yeah, it was just really something that, again, I'll never forget. Um, and yeah. Well, let's contrast on the other side here because we do have the season bit on the other side of the screen there. Jaden, right. you're sitting there watching the selection show and you actually had the opportunity to not come back this year. Uh, mm -hmm. So with these circumstances coming about, you have a, new, a first year head coach also, but technically she wasn't really in Jenny Johnson, Jordan. We've been with the program since its inception, at least so it seems. Um, what was it like for you to get the announcement to find out that you were in also? Yeah, I mean just the decision to come back um looking back on it i'm just so happy that i did because this team is just unreal um i feel like i'm closest with this team um even like the freshmen who are like 5 years younger than me i still feel like are like my little sisters um and the new coaching staff too that was something that um, drew me back to this team and honestly they've been the best coaches I've had in my entire career um, Kelly Jose and Jenny all together um, have worked so hard to continue to grow this team culture and so yeah I I mean watching the selection show and just kind of seeing how everything is going to play out just makes me more excited to spend my final week with this team and um, not take anything for granted. Yeah. It's, it's cool seeing the dichotomy because obviously for Arizona state on their social, they posted the level of excitement. They've got to see it. It's like everyone's like screaming, jumping, crying. Mm -hmm. And then I, I haven't seen the UCLA one, but it just seems like it's a more controlled, like, okay, we still have some business to take care of. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> we, I was, I don't know who I was talking to about it, but um just again, I was more excited to see the teams who were getting the um, the bids and the teams that didn't know if they were in or not that were on the fence um, and to see them get the opportunity to play in like the best tournament to ever exist in collegiate beach volleyball is just really great for the sport. And um, being on UCLA, I just am really privileged that we're able to make it back to the tournament and um, get another shot at getting an Addy. Now, Kendall, obviously being younger, and you've seen Jaden go through this, but uh, what is your response and how did you react to Jaden getting in before you started playing at Arizona State versus now? Well, it's a great question. I'm always like just so proud of Jaden and just UCLA as a whole because I know a lot of them 
um, very well. And just everyone is so deserving um, overall. But before Arizona State, um, I feel like it was just like a different feeling of more like, oh my gosh, I want to be there. You know, I want to be in her shoes. I want to earn this position in the tournament. Um, and then these past two years that I've spent here, it's been more um, of, again, like the eager feeling, but just actually putting in the work um, and the overall effort to, you know, make it to the end goal, which is making the tournament and doing very well, improving ourselves and really practicing what we, what we work so hard on week, week in and week out. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things, obviously Jane is on college volleyball weekly beach top 20 weekly, not so weekly as of late because of tournaments, uh, championships, not important traveling dates. But um, one thing that we've recognized being the, I guess, call us the more vintage uh, members on the screen here, we've seen such good young talent at all these programs across the nation, but even more so in the Pac-12. And you're seeing it because teams like Arizona, Washington, Arizona State, Cal, if you look at their rosters, there's such a talented core of underclassmen that are beginning to take over. Would you uh, agree with that comment there, Kendall? Oh, 100%. It's like Jaden said, it's just so cool to see the sport grow like every single day. You know, um, my team is actually so young, which is so exciting. You know, um, we have four seniors graduating, which will be a big loss. But again, the younger girls coming in, there's so much hope and potential for everybody. And just seeing the progress of the sport overall and just these girls, you know, even mm -hmm. like the juniors levels, just everyone is, you know, very good. So yeah. it's really exciting for the sport. I want to bounce over to Jaden here because uh, one of the things that caught me or caught my ear during the uh, selection show was when they broke down UCLA and they've said for UCLA to, to make it back to the final match, it's going to be a threes and fours and who's in the threes and fours. Usually that's you and Tessa, but uh, what is, how are you going to respond uh the upcoming tournament and what's the atmosphere or I guess the vibe of the team as you go into Gulf Shores? I thought, yeah, I mean, that comment's pretty interesting. I feel like, um, I mean, when pairs one through five are all equally important. Um, and I think for our team, it's more about just like kind of blocking out the noise, to be honest. It's more about just like staying locked into our our program and our teammate and our side of the net. So um, I think once we get to Gulf Shores, it's about just taking it game by game and staying locked in and um, taking it point by point and then just not getting too like wrapped into it. I feel like yeah. Gulf Shores, I mean, it's obviously like the biggest tournament, it's single elimination. There's a lot of pressure, but in order to kind of like stay grounded, my what I do is I just block that all out and I just do what I love. So, yeah. Now, uh, Kendall, uh, you guys see each other on the beach of Gulf Shore. What's the uh, interaction going to be like? We just ignore each other completely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always like a cute little reunion, you know, every single time we cross paths and, you know, it's just so, it's so special, especially like, because like you said, she wasn't supposed to come back for her sixth year. She wasn't planning on it. Um, and so just having two years um, together in the Pac-12 and being able to see each other at all these tournaments, it's always so special and we're going to miss her a lot next year. Well, one person that I had definitely have to take note of is seeing how close your mom is to both of you. Um, what sweatshirt is she going to be wearing in the Gulf Shores? <laughs> so funny she literally was like you know i'm really excited asu is going but how am i going to pack my wardrobe in my <laughs> like now just to pack both i'm like mom that should be the least of your concerns yeah <laughs> she she gets very stressed about that stuff but she wears um i don't know if you've seen she wears her tank top that's a heart and half of it is asu and the other half is ucla <laughs> and then if Whatever she doesn't wear with that one day, she'll wear a UCLA shirt or a ASU hat. You know, she she makes it work. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, now it changes for sure. You guys definitely have a special relationship though. I see, I mean, just, you can tell from when you guys are at your duels and I mean, when I see her at the UCLA ones, but I assume she's very much the same with you, if not exactly the same with you, Kendall. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> she's, I mean, Jaden knows she's our number one supporter. She's been through it all with us and um, from like juniors and she wakes up at four in the morning to pack our coolers. You know, she's just, those are just like the little things that she's gotten us to where we are today. Well, the, uh, I've got to ask you, Kendall, you asking for tips from Jaden then, or have you asked tips for Jaden about going to Gold Shores? <laughs> um, for Gold Shores, I haven't, not yet, but overall volleyball, yes, she's, she's my secret little coach for sure, which is <laughs> actually very nice she she knows it all you know she's very she's full of wisdom um even she'll just watch my mom's live streams of my games and um this year I'm I've been a full-time blocker and so I'm I'm learning and she would give me tips on full-time blocking and you know she's like you got a face and I'm like you you're not a blocker but she just <laughs> knows which is just so cool and so it's so fun having her on my side and coaching me well, I was going to say, well, Jaden, do you actually tell her the right information as a competitive sister? Of course, <laughs> yeah. come on. <laughs> Not evil. <laughs> no, I, I, it's been so fun for Kendall, too. She's been in a kind of uncomfortable situation being in and out of a lineup. Um, but being such a young player, I'm really, really excited for her to um, get better and make an impact to this amazing program. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for the entire Whitmarsh family, uh, Kendall and Jaden and even Cindy and dad or stepdad and everyone else that follows along. And you actually have an extended family. I, I didn't think of mentioning earlier, but the Tory Pines family and the Wave Beach and yeah. Wave Indoor family. I mean, you have so many talented, great people that are in your guys' corners. And it's amazing to see the community come behind all of you. So... Yeah. Well, uh, Kendall Whitmarsh of Arizona State, first ever NCAA uh, Beach Championship appearance. Jane Whitmarsh, this would be five, six, five, oh, the COVID God. count? I can't even remember. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> and uh, usually a regular contributor to College Volleyball Weekly Beach Top 20. Ladies, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you guys got to travel this week and probably take care of school business before you get going. But I wish you the best of luck. I look forward to chatting with you. Uh, afterwards, just a little follow up. Awesome. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for listening to College Volleyball Weekly. Be sure to follow Rob Esparo at the Rob on the Mic on Instagram and at Rob on the Mic on Twitter. <laughs>